1 Peter 5 verses 8 through 11. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Good Sunday morning. A few years ago, I was helping another pastor with a building project, and he said, watch out for rattlesnakes. I'd lived in Texas for several years, but this was a brand new facility, and I thought, snakes haven't had time to come into this new building. I was wrong. As I lifted a spool of wire behind it, I saw a rattlesnake coiled up pretty as you please. My moving his cover caused him to startle, and I heard my very first rattlesnake. Then I killed it with a shovel. That encounter with a snake served as a valuable wake-up call. I heard my second rattlesnake later in the day in another part of the building. The Bible tells us, be alert to the presence of our spiritual enemy, the devil. Be sober, be watchful. 1 Peter 5, 8 reminds us, because your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. As we move through each day, we must neither pretend that Satan doesn't exist, nor should we become paralyzed by fear of his presence. Knowing his destructive potential, we must depend on God's power to resist him, firm in our faith. Be careful. Stay alert. That's a wake-up call we need every morning. Heavenly Father, keep me humble in spirit and help me to cast all my cares and worries on you, knowing that Satan is prowling around seeking to destroy my witness and cause me to stumble. I pray that I may take this warning seriously and rely on you in everything so that I may not stumble and fall, but stand firm in this evil day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. It's Sunday morning. Go to church.